video we have seen how we have how we can create a dashboard screen area and uh, in the dashboard screen we have created a dummy data uh, dummy list view in that dummy list view we have passed a name gender and as well as a score and in the app bar we have created one edit button as well as a logout button so in this video we will see uh, we'll we'll see how we can create a edit screen edit screen means when you tap on the edit button over here the edit button will display a open uh, dialog box in, and next we need to supply one image over here right now we is a dummy uh, there's no image over here right in this uh, there's no image over here we'll see how we can create an image uh, go to your just and create one assets folder and inside assets folder so i have downloaded one uh, profile image so which is from the uh, in the desk from the icon finder just go and drag and drop to your assets folder so now you added your profile image to your assets folder go to your pubspec.yaml and here just give this give you asset folder location just simply call assets and you save it and come back to your dashboard dot screen and so right now so you have to supply the profile image over here so go back go to your circle avatar here just pass assets and name of the image profile underscore image dot png so when you like you can see the image is updated over here right now we have supplied one dummy image over here uh, next we'll see how we can create a uh, dialog box how we can create a dialog box before the dialog box we can give it further so before creating a dialog box we can create an uh, like we can create a function for this sign out button so creating a sign out button is very easy just go to your authentication screen go to your authentication services screen and here we under our comment let's create a sign out future sign out so we're creating a function which is a sign out and which is an async and again we'll create a try and catch block and inside catch in some error i want to do something print error down to string and uh, just and inside your try just simply call call the auth instance to sign out that's very simple and go to your dashboard screen and here in the dashboard screen uh, again you don't have any like you don't have any difference over here you can just create authentication services instance over here just go in final authentication service opt is equals to authentication service okay go to your this is the place no this is the place here just simply call your function which is inside your auth await so for to call that uh, so let this i'll make it as async and then call await okay and uh, call of the dot sign out dot will have a call back here we'll write a call back here and i'll just as a result in here so once it sign out successfully so we have a like once the sign out is successfully we are just navigating we are just pushing him like we are popping him back do that we'll write navigator dot of context dot pop intro okay fine once the user is successfully logged out what we are doing we are just popping him popping him back we are just signing out and we are popping him back let's see when i tap on this sign it button so what happens it automatically popped him back okay so let's sign in money at gmail.com and click login so the login success it properly signed in and it navigate to a dashboard screen so we are done with uh, we are done for sign out button next we are creating functionality for this edit button
and we are creating a user interface for this edit button to do the user interface for this edit button so we will create an open dialog box so let uh, go to my edit screen also go to my edit now here and create here open dialog box some name of uh, have given some random name so this creates a function or here so inside open dialog just call we want three text fields where it it for uh, the three text fields one is for my one is for the name gender and as well as for the score so first i want to create written show dialog so you don't want to pass context build up and inside context in here written alert dialog so again in the alert dialog so we are creating three fields first title so the title so write the title is edit user details that's it that's for the title and next i'll create a content so this content well i just want to create a container over here so i'll give the height as some 150 next i'll the child property i want to create a column and inside column i'll create three text fields so which are children's text field so i'm not doing any validations over here i'll simply write a text field we have limited time so inside the text field i'll simply call controller which is okay i have not created any controllers Let, let's go here and create a controller I want to create a three controllers one for the name gender and the other one is for the score so to create a controllers for the text form text fields controller you have something called text editing controller and I'll name it as name controller is equals to text editing controller total three I want to create two and three one for the name and the other one is for gender And finally last one for score okay so I have created three controllers go here the first one is a name controller and the second one so inside the name controller let me write a decoration so I want to decorate this input decoration so I'll provide some hint in text so I'll provide in text as name. Okay, I have created uh, one text field here. I'll uh, just simply copy and paste the remaining two, two and finally three. Okay, so this name I'll give it as gender, and this I'll give it as score. Okay, inside name is done. Next, gender controller, and last one score controller. Okay. We are done in what is this error? This is not white. Okay, uh, let's see how it's working. So go here and tap on the tab. So okay, fine. Okay, sorry, we forgot to create a buttons. Uh, okay, we are done with this, but we forgot to create a buttons. So let's create button. And so to create the buttons and after this child widget so we're done with creating a text here and after this let's create a okay so there's a container and after that let's create an action for the buttons so right now we have created but there's no buttons over here so inside the actions let's create a two buttons one for cancellation and the one is for uh, submission so let me create a flat button over here so two flat buttons I want to create flat button flat button 
So inside the first flag button, and let on pressed go through. And inside, I'm not doing anything here right now. Uh, just simply have written, and I'll create a child property, and I'll name it as. Submit and again inside this, again inside the child, I'll call it, name it as cancel. And inside this one pressed, what I do when someone taps on the cancel, so it should automatically dismiss the uh, at. Uh, open dialog box so for that i'll call navigator dot pop context okay so right now i'm not doing anything for the uh, submit button i'm just doing only for the cancel button so, okay uh, even i can do the same thing for uh, submit button too so when you uh, fine so when you click here you can see there is a dialog box three text fields and two buttons when you tap on any button right now right now you are not created any database functionalities right that's the reason when you tap on the cancel it's automatically gets dismissed if you go here and tap okay that's all uh, so in this video we have created a functionality for the logout button as well as for open dialog uh, user interface in the next video we will see how we can manage the database using a cloud store